Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mythlok with your host Nitin Nair. In the last episode we focused on mortals from the Navajo mythology in the United States of America. So I figured we'd keep up with the same trend and look into another mortal or a human being from Asian or Southeast Asian mythology and especially Japanese mythology. So this time we are focusing on the Momotaro. Momotaro is a popular hero in Japanese folklore. His name is often translated as the Peach Boy and he's also the main character in many modern TV shows, cartoons, anime and comics. There has been a popular notion that he is a local hero in the Okayama prefecture, but this is not accepted by scholarly circles. Momotaro is definitely one of the most popular characters that has emerged off late uh, that has gained international acceptance mainly because of his presence or his relativity to uh, many of these stories and legends that have been you know adapted to the various different modern art forms Some of the really interesting things about Momotaro is that he's never depicted as being older than his late 20s This is quite new for a mortal because mortals generally have their birth and all the way up to their death being documented and some kind of imagery being associated with them in different parts or different stages of their life the physical attributes vary from being fat and lazy to being tall well built and handsome the age of momotaro has also considerably gone down as the years went by and sometimes even described as not being older than 10 years old not much is known about momotaro's parents but it is believed that he was born when an elderly couple cut open a giant peach that came across them when they cut it open they found momotaro instead of the seed and then decided to raise him as their own he was named after the fruit in which they found him Another version of the story also states that he was not born out of a peach. He was actually born to an elderly couple who regained their youth after they ate a magical peach. They named him Momotaro after the fruit that helped him them regain their lost youth. Another not so common version of the family story is that Momotaro was found floating down a river in a box which is found by an elderly couple. When they opened it they found a baby inside holding a peach. This version is one of the more modern retellings and many scholars refuse to accept it despite being in line with similar stories from other mythologies around the world. One of the more popular mythologies that actually have a similar storyline where a baby was floating down the river in a box is that of Karna, the warrior from the Mahabharata in Hindu or Indian mythology. There are varying stories about the powers and abilities of Momotaro. Most stories depict him growing into a fine young man who was very warm and loving to his parents. Other versions describe him as strong and intelligent young man who was very lazy and spent most of his time sleeping. He had to be forced by his parents or the villagers to do work or to protect them from any enemies. Nowadays Momotaro is one of the most famous characters in Japan as an ideal model for young kids for his kind-heartedness, bravery, power and care for his parents. He usually goes into battle with his enemies accompanied by his trusted companions, a pheasant, a monkey and a dog. His weapon of choice is the magical mallet Uchide no Kozuchi. Momotaro has found his place in modern society under the name of a popular brand of jeans and also as a character in popular children's cartoons and comics. Like I said earlier when we started this episode, Momotaro is one of the most popular characters in Japanese mythology both within Japan as well as around the world because these are the characters that tend to have a more universal appeal. in terms of how they have turned out and how they went about getting stuff done in their own mythologies momotaro definitely has a huge influence on guiding children 
and is sometimes compared to the Indian equivalent of the cartoon Chota Bheem, has slight connections with the earlier mythology but is more about showing children what is the right way to conduct themselves in society. We will be exploring a lot more characters from Japan and the region as we go along and stay tuned to Mythlook for some really exciting stuff that's going to be coming on in the next few episodes. This is your host Nitin Naya signing off and reminding you once again that Mythlook is the home of mythology. <laughs>